Hi right, guys, what's going on today? So Empress Lomi here with another little base that I've been kind of working on and it was actually in a pretty good spawn point um, if I do say so myself. Um, we have a nice little village behind us and you know I got some bamboo growing, I got some flowers. It's looking pretty nice up here and even downstairs even better. So why don't we go and take a little tour. Um, so I dug down. We got some potatoes growing. The potatoes are mostly just for bone meal um, since I got plenty of cooked food that I could use for right now. Um, and eventually this is just gonna be carrots whenever I find some. And we're gonna, we're gonna be working on this a little bit, you know, make it Nice and pretty. And then we get to here. So again, this is all going to be changed up. I'm probably going to be doing some blackstone and quartz um, when I actually get to the nether. I haven't gone there yet, so um, that's why we got the cobblestone. Normally I don't use cobblestone, but it's fine, it's fine. And then we got ourselves a, you know, nice little room here where I sleep and do all my storing and stuff, but I'm going to make it, I'm going to make like an actual storage room for other stuff um, down below. And this will just kind of be like, you know, the main entrance hallway thing, I guess. Yeah, we'll go with that. Um... So yeah, this is like really nice. I really enjoy doing this. I think it looks really nice with the purple. Nice little accent color. And again, this is gonna change out to um, Blackstone. And then my next order of business is I'm probably gonna switch all this up for some obsidian and just do like a nice big obsidian portal all right here. And then we come down. And of course, we're going to need to get all this fixed up, all this fixed up, all this fixed up, make it nice and pretty. I'm kind of thinking of some, like, some blues for the ceiling, and um, we're going to do some grass for the flooring. Um, I'm going to put the villagers in here, make this like a nice big old trading hall. And look, I got some llamas and I got some sheep. Yes, I'm going for the, the sheep. Um, having all the different colored wool achievement. And yeah, so... Primarily, this is just going to be like for the villagers to live in. Um, I do want to get some bees eventually as well. And probably grow some sugar cane down here too. So I'll have to get all this fixed up. And then if we go down, I haven't, I've only just started doing this, but I'm going to make a huge like room here, um, for storage. Probably not going to make it like as big as up there. I don't think I need that much room or do I? Mm, maybe not. Maybe not. I don't know. And then I'm going to dig down. And then the rest of it is just going to be like a big open area um, for like mining. And maybe I'll set up like a little parkour thing down there just to practice my parkour. Uh, hoping to find a spawner as well. Because then I can do some grinding in my own base and not have to worry about it. And yeah, we're going to change all this out too. Make it all nice and pretty. We'll have to get all that dug out and then put the ceiling in. Or maybe like just fix the holes, probably. And then for the walls, I don't know. I haven't decided what I'm doing for the walls. I mean, we're doing the grass and then we're doing the blue. But I don't know what we're doing for the walls yet. I mean, we, we obviously need a spot for the villagers, too. But other than that, I don't know. 
I just don't know. We'll see, we'll see. I'll have to figure it out. But so far, this is the tour of the cave dwelling that I'm doing. I think it's looking pretty decent and I can't wait to finish it off. And if you guys have any suggestions, feel free to let me know and I will definitely think about implementing it. And if anyone has any ideas about like how redstone works, because I was thinking about doing some daylight sensors up top and then having it light up um, some of the redstone lamps. And please, let me know how that actually works because um, I am a complete and utter noob when it comes to redstone. And if you have any other suggestions on designs or like what I should use the room for everything, let me know that too. I'd appreciate it. And if you like the video, feel free to like and subscribe. All the support definitely helps uh, grow the channel and it's also very much appreciated. And thank you guys. Bye.